I knew I was going to New Orleans because Bob Bass, who was the GM there, he, he said to me, he said, I don't know how you're, you're going to fall to us. He said, I just don't. I don't, I don't know how. And I'm like, OK. He said, but if you're at 18, we're taking you. This was before the workout. And this was before we go in the workout. He's like, if you're there at 18, you're going to be a New Orleans Hornet. I'm like, that's cool with me, man. Like, <laughs> that's fine. You, lead, you know, honestly. I was like, that's fine. And, you know, I, you know, Bob has since passed, but, you know, I always was thankful to him for that because, you know, he did what I asked. Just be honest with me. And, you know, there were other, other teams that were honest and it didn't hurt my feelings. It, you know, Folks around me, my brother was upset about, you know, some of the things that other teams said, but I always took it as you got to take what people honestly feel and then use that to fuel you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I did. So I was able to outplay, have a better career than most of the guys drafted ahead of me. Yeah. Um, and not too many of y'all were, there was, a, it was a loaded class, but only a handful of all-stars. Right, like exactly. You're in, you're exactly. In that. so, and that's the, that's probably the greatest class, maybe. One of them. One of one the greatest of, classes yeah. of all time. Right, you know, right, so. right. Yeah, you were one of the all-stars on there. You could have went back to the Pacers, mm -hmm. but you decided to leave and mm -hmm. you didn't take back the 12 million. I remember during that time period, we had like, uh, there was an AAU tournament or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I was down there and I was like, yo, Dave, why the hell did you take it? So, <laughs> right, right, I remember right. telling you that at the hotel. Yeah. And then you told me like something, I still think about it like all the time. You said like long term is never about the money. Your decision making in that time, what really went into it? Um, were... Well, it was a couple things. I was confident with, uh, with where I was. And at that point in my career, um, I was very confident and comfortable with where we had kind of situated ourselves financially. Yeah. Um, I was also confident that I was making the right decision. Yeah. Um, and then I also just wanted to make a basketball decision, but also be a little selfish, too, because yeah. it was the first time in my life that I made a decision that was totally centered on David. Yeah. Like people don't realize like San Antonio was my favorite team growing up. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan is my favorite player. Like I literally idolized that organization, you know, every everything about it, like, you know, sort of my philosophical mind when it comes to basketball is centered around like my childhood and watching the Spurs and watching David Robinson and Tim Duncan and all that stuff. So the opportunity to go there was a selfish one. As soon as we lost in the playoffs. Did and, you know you were, you were going to go to state? Yeah, I knew I was going. Because <laughs> so I mean, they, they, Bob, Bob reached out while I was on the bus. I, I, and I joke with him all the time about that. Yeah. He's like, man, you're going to get me in trouble. But like literally, because they wanted me to come there the year before, but I'm like, I'm I, I going to the Spurs. Yeah. So then when they reached out, I was like, okay. We'll, we'll give it a run because, you know, at that time they needed what I could, what I could provide. Like yeah. they needed some, some veteran leadership. They needed um, a steady locker room presence. And then they needed somebody who could still be productive on the floor um, in spots. And so I was able to, to fill my role there, you know, well, but, um, you know, very rarely uh, do you want to get yourself in a position where you have to make a decision based on financial implications? Like, and I always pride myself on not having to get to that point. It's always good to have that, have that feeling of, you know, people respected what you did, uh, respected the way you carried yourself. And, uh, you know, I tell you all the time, I, I got in and out of the league unblemished, you know, was able to get in and get out and remain intact. And, um, you know, that's something that, um, like I said, when I, when I mentioned it to you years ago, long term, those are the things that you want to be, you know, you want to have as a part of your legacy.